In honor of Kindness Week, I have a story called Be Kind by Pat Zietlow Miller, illustrated by Jen Hill. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday all over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too. But mom always tells me to be kind, so I tried. I don't think it worked. I said, purple is my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. <laughs> When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe it's giving like making cookies for Mr. Winaldi, who lives alone. Oh, I thank you. Letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. Wow. He might win races in them too. Woohoo! Maybe it's helping putting dirty dishes in the sink. Cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention. Telling Desmond I like his blue boots. Hey, I like your purple shirt. Asking the new girl to be my partner. listening to Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones I've heard before. So that's when I said, I'll have the cheese, please. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle or saying thank you, bless you, <laughs> My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey, Kayla. What's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mondabon. Being kind can be hard, too. Even when you know what to do, teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky. <laughs> even when I'm patient. <laughs> and sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. 
Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things other people do. Thank you. And together, they could grow into something big. Something really big, so big that all our kindnesses spill out of our school, spread throughout town, travel across the country, and go all the way around the world. right back to Tanisha and me, so we can be kind again and again. And again. I hope you like my story about be kind. Remember, kindness matters. It matters how you treat each other. It matters what you say to each other. So I think that you should look for the people who need a friend and you be that friend. So you can visit my Schoology page this week and I have lots of other books about kindness. So until next time, see you soon.